Hello friends. In this part, we will discuss how to fetch data from MySQL table and display on web page in HTML table format with pagination under this code igniter for CRUD application. In previous part, we have seen how to download code igniter for framework with required prerequisite and then after we have make database connection and then after we have make models class controller class and then after we have seen how to set code igniter for server for see code igniter for application in browser so now for fetch data from mysql table and display on web page first we want to make views file under this our code igniter for application so here we have right click on this views directory and select create new file so here blank file has been created and under this file we have paste this html code under this code we have used bootstrap for library now we have saved this file with crudview.php file name Under this file, we have create HTML table with five table column like ID, name, email, gender, edit and delete. We will fill this table with MySQL user table data. So for this, we have go to crud.php file and here we have go to index method and here we have comment this code. And here we have write dollar crud model variable is equal to new crud model class. So here we have create object of this crud model class. Next, we want to display data on web page with pagination. So in code igniter for pagination is very simple. In single function, it will automatically make pagination links. So here we have write dollar data user data variable is equal to dollar crud model with order by method with two argument like id and descending order so this method will add order by statement in database query After this we have write paginate method with 10 records so this method will return 10 data result per page which has been stored under this variable for create pagination link we have write dollar data pagination link variable is equal to dollar crud model object with pager services this pager services will return pagination link lastly under this method we have write view method with two argument in first argument we have write view file name crud view and in second argument we have write dollar data variable so this code will load crud view file on web page and on that page data will be get from this dollar data variable now we have go to crud view dot php file and here we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar user data variable so if this variable value is set then it will execute if block of code under this block we have write for each loop and under condition we have write dollar user data variable as dollar user variable so by using this loop it will fetch data from dollar user data variable under this loop we have write echo statement with open and close table row tag and between this tag we have make six table data tag in first table data tag we want to display user id details so here we have write dollar user id variable in second table column, we want to display user name details. 
So here we have write dollar user name variable. In third table column, we want to display user email details. So here we have write dollar user email variable. In fourth table column, we want to display gender details. So here we have write dollar user gender variable. In fifth table column, we will make edit button and in sixth table column, we will make delete button in later part. So on every interval, it will display user data under this table. Next, we want to make pagination link. So here we have write if statement and under condition, we have write dollar pagination link variable. So if this variable value is set, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar pagination link variable with set path method. And under this, we have write controller name crud. This method will set the path which an alias group of links will use. And for display pagination links, we have write echo statement with dollar pagination link variable with links method. This method will display pagination link for each page. So here our code is ready for fetch data from MySQL table and display on web page in HTML table format with pagination. So here we have saved this code and check output in browser. Friends, here first we have refresh web page. After refresh of web page, here we can see user table data has been loaded in HTML table and below this table, we can see pagination link. Now we want to check this pagination links is working or not. So we have click on another page link. After click on other page link, then on web page, we can see that page data has been loaded. That means here pagination link is working properly. So friends, in this part, we have discussed how to fetch data from database in CodeIgniter 4 framework. And then after display on web page in HTML table with pagination link by using CodeIgniter 4 framework library. In next part, we will discuss how to insert or add data into MySQL table with data validation by using CodeIgniter 4 framework under this CRUD application. Lastly, if you have any query or inputs regarding this tutorial, you can ask your query in comment box. If you have liked this video, please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. And lastly don't forget to subscribe our channel for future video tutorials.